This is VOA News. Reporting by remote, I'm Joe Ramsey. Brazil and Japan joined the rapidly widening circle of countries reporting cases of the Omicron variant Tuesday, while new findings indicate the coronavirus strain was already in Europe close to a week before South Africa sounded the alarm. A Netherlands Health Institute claimed samples from November 19th and 23rd were found to contain the variant. It was on November 24th that South African authorities reported the existence of the highly mutated virus to the World Health Organization. That indicates Omicron had a bigger head start than previously believed. Brazil, which has recorded a staggering total of more than 600,000 COVID-19 deaths, reported finding the variant in two travelers returning from South Africa, the first known Omicron cases in Latin America. Authorities there say the travelers were tested on November 25th. Japan announced its first case also on Tuesday, the same day the country put a ban on all foreign visitors into effect. Much remains unknown about the new variant, including whether it is more contagious, as some health authorities suspect, whether it makes people more seriously ill, and whether it is effective against vaccines. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the United States' top infectious disease expert, said much more will be known in the next several weeks and, quote, we'll have a much better picture of what the challenge is ahead of us. In the meantime, a WHO official warned that given the growing number of Omicron cases in South Africa and neighboring Botswana, parts of Southern Africa could soon see infections skyrocket. Cases began to increase rapidly in mid-November in South Africa, which is now seeing nearly 3,000 confirmed new infections per day. This is VOA News. Police said Tuesday a 15-year-old boy in the U.S. killed three fellow high school students and wounded eight other people after opening fire with a semi-automatic handgun at a high school in the northern state of Michigan, and he was quickly taken into custody. Authorities say at least one of those wounded was a teacher in Oxford, Michigan, about 40 miles or 65 kilometers north of Detroit. They announced those killed were a 16-year-old boy, a 17-year-old girl, and a 14-year-old girl. Police add the suspect, a second-year student, was believed to have acted alone and was arrested without resistance after firing 15 to 20 shots. Burkina Faso's government said Tuesday it had killed dozens of so-called terrorists and arrested hundreds of suspects in joint operations along its borders with neighboring Ivory Coast and Ghana last week. The country's security minister says from November 21st to 27th, a total of almost 6,000 soldiers from four countries were deployed against jihadists. In Burkina itself, the minister says five so-called terrorist bases were destroyed and, quote, around 30 terrorists neutralized in clashes near the border with Ivory Coast. Jihadist attacks have grown increasingly regular and deadly in Burkina Faso since 2015. At least nine officers and around 10 civilians were killed November 21st in an attack blamed on jihadists. A week before, at least 57 people, 53 of them in the military, were killed in an attack on a police post in the West African country's north. And Chile's parliament on Tuesday postponed a vote on a long-awaited bill to legalize same-sex marriage and shelved another to decriminalize abortion. In a frustrating day for activists, the bill on gay marriage was sent back to legislators to iron out disagreements on the day many had hoped it would finally be passed. And in a separate process, a bill that would allow elective abortion within 14 weeks of pregnancy was put on hold pending a further reworking of text effectively archiving it for a year. Once adopted, the marriage law will see Chile join only a handful of countries in majority Catholic Latin America where same-sex couples can legally tie the knot after Costa Rica, Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina, and also in 14 of Mexico's 32 states. In Latin America, abortion is legal only in Uruguay, Cuba, Argentina since January, and Guyana, as well as in Mexico City and three Mexican states. It's banned in El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Find more at voanews.com. Reporting by remote, I'm Joe Ramsey.